Okay, so what we're going to do here is look at rounding to do decimal places because we've already looked at rounding up and rounding down. So at this point, we're going to look at sometimes needing to just refine the output a little bit better. So what we have here is a simple program that's going to ask for the payout for um, a lottery payment, for example, and just ask for how many people. It's going to create an, uh, an equal share and then just display the output. So if we just run this program here, and if we say that, for example, the lottery payout is a hundred and thirty-four pounds and fifty pence, and if we say there are three members, they should all get an equal share. And in this instance, it's coming out as forty-four pounds and eighty-three point three 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 pence. So what we want to do is we want to format this output so that it is outputting just rounded to two decimal places. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to say that share equals whatever share was. But this time, we're going to use a function called round. So round, open bracket. So the first parameter we're going to need to supply is the value that we want to um, round. And we're going to then say comma and then the amount of decimal places. So that will round the the what's ever in the variable called share to two decimal places. So if we just save that, and rerun it and we'll just use the same data again so 134 pounds and 50 and we will say that there are three members again and you'll see that that's now rounded it to 44 pounds and 86 so rather than getting all the decimal places we are now fine however just as a bit more of an advanced rounding if we run this program again if we say that it's nice and easy this time so say it's 130 pounds and it is two members we'll see that we've got 65 pounds zero pence but usually when we deal with currency we want two decimal places so even if it is 65.00 now we're not actually going to use the round function because we're already using that and it is rounding it to two decimal places but as we know if we round um 72.5 72.5 is the same as 72 0.50. So what we're going to use is a different function. So we're just going to change our print line here. So if we say that the payout for each member is and then what we're going to do is we're going to just put a comma here and we're going to use this format line here. Just end the bracket there. So what that says is that we're going to basically put two fixed decimal places and we're going to use this format function here to run it. So if I just comment the original one out just so that we can see that a little bit more, we're going to save it and we're going to run it. It's the same data as before. So if we say 132 members, you'll see that we actually get 65.00. So that always do two fixed decimal places. So it's not strictly using a round function, it's just changing the formatting of the string to look a bit different differently.